Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Kaylin. <laughs> How is everybody? Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How is everybody? Yes, Don. Well, actually, these are like some little, you know, like the rib meat chops. I got some of those. So I'm going to fry those. I'm going to make a gravy. And <laughs> who is that? Oh, hi, Roberta. Welcome. And I am going to boil some potatoes. I'm going to make my potatoes. I already got them cut up. But right now I'm just putting my chicken broth. I need to get the rest of my potatoes. Let me strain those while everybody's hopping on. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. I see your comments. Let me get the potatoes strained out. When I cut them up, I like to let them sit in some water. <laughs> Thank you. So in this, um, hot here you all if you can't see you have to move your comments I'm gonna go ahead and get the potatoes on because they take a little while but I did cut them up so that they won't take too long to cook yeah we gonna talk y'all know that right <laughs> so I'm gonna get the potatoes in the pot I'm just boiling them in some chicken broth but of course you can use water and Alana's trying to get out the room trying not to let it splash because I already had it on so I'm going to just add some chicken broth to my pot, y'all. And we're going to let these boil while we're doing the rest of everything else because we're going to make mashed potatoes. All right. Oh, happy birthday, Nicole. Happy birthday. Yes. You want to come say hi? I gotta cook, so you gotta just say hi real quick. Say hello, say hello real quick, Alana, so I can finish cooking. Hey, everybody. Say hi, Alana. I thought you wanted to say hi. hi y'all know Tyler. Hi, y'all, what's up? Um, Cheyenne, is it Cheyenne? Hi. Alana, hi. you did say hi. Say hi real quick, say hi. hi. Say I'll see you later. Okay, go ahead, y'all go back. Hi. Alana, you're gonna have to go. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You want to go with Layla? You want to go with Layla? Y'all can't close the door. Alana, be obedient. You need to be obedient or you want to get it? Go ahead. She wants to go with Layla. Let her go. Holly, you leave her be. Y'all made me lose my train of thought. Somebody asked me, <laughs> what does the chicken broth do for the potatoes? It just adds flavor. So you don't have to use the chicken broth. Sometimes I use the chicken bouillon. Or you can just use water. It just adds some extra flavor. Oh, what are you doing back in here? What are you doing? If you want to sit at the table, you want to sit at the table? Because I can't hold you and cook. It's not going to work. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad y'all are patient with me when I'm on live. Because, honey. Okay. No. You need to go to your sister. Go to Layla. You better go. Okay, I'm cooking dinner. I'm making you some dinner right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me take the uh, phone off the charger, y'all. So, this is all we're doing. This is all we got so far. Just our potatoes in the chicken broth. If you have not tried boiling your potatoes in the chicken broth, you know I'm going to challenge you to try it because it's really good. And like I said, it's going to add some extra flavor. I'm not saying that what you're doing isn't working, but I like to try new things and I need y'all to be open-minded and try some new stuff. Let's move this hat away. All right. I'm going to put a little butter in my potatoes. They're starting to boil, but I'm going to turn them down a little bit. 
I'm gonna add a little butter. <laughs> Can y'all close y'all door so y'all not all in our conversation up in here? <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm gonna add some butter to the potatoes. Not much, just a little. Now, you all know I love to use mustard as one of my marinades. People always ask me, like it's some, you know, huge thing or secret that I do. Really, all I use is some yellow mustard. It really doesn't matter what kind you use. I use from the cheapest mustard. I don't get too expensive, okay, because it ain't that serious. It's just mustard. So, you can always add your own flavor with your mustard marinade if you're just using a um, flour. But you all know from my chicken and stuff, I like to use my house autry or I'll use my um, Zatarain's chicken fry. So I love this house autry because it already has a lot of flavor. It's already seasoned. So you don't have to add a lot of seasonings unless you just want extra seasonings. Okay, honey? So I'm going to add some mustard to my little... I'm going to show you these little things. They're called little riblet, rib chops or something. And I'm going to turn these potatoes down. They're boiling, but I don't need them to cook too fast. Get me a glove. Okay, slow down, Sally. Slow down, Sally. Goodness gracious. Y'all should see these potatoes. They're just trying to get away. But these are some good pots. Okay, if you have, um, these are called Mom's Cook. Mom's Cook Pots. One thing I know about these is they're really good. Like, as far as, you know, the heat and everything, they're really, really good. Oh, good, Shelly. <laughs> hey, Ethel. All right, y'all. So they're like small like this. Um, they're called like, and you all probably know what I'm talking about. They're like, they're by the pork chops, but they said like rib meat or something. I don't know. So I'm saying pork chops because they was by the pork chops. So I guess they have a form of pork chops. I don't really know. Um... I have switched up my dinner idea like four times today. I could not decide. I was talking to one of my friends. I could not decide what to cook today because I'm not really all that hungry. So I really struggled today. Believe it or not, I struggle with what to make for dinner. And sometimes I do, especially when I'm not hungry. When I'm hungry, of course, I can say what I want, but I had a uh, struggling day. <laughs> I had a struggling day. I really did. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to fry these. Let me turn my potatoes up just a little bit. For those, can y'all see that? If you move your comments, you should be able to see. Wait. Yeah. Hopefully you can see. And I'll bring you closer if I need to. I'm just trying to get the potatoes to where they're not boiling over. You could probably see, but they're kind of... You know, because we're going to cook and everything. So we don't need them to, you know, beat us. They, we don't need them to speed or cook too fast. This is what I drink. So I drink coffee. I don't drink, I drink water, but I don't drink soda anymore. I just drink, you know, like the flavored water. What's wrong, Lana Poo? All right, so when I'm cooking, and I tell y'all this stuff so you know, you so you will know because nine times out of ten when I'm cooking, I'm using canola oil. I don't always use great value. I don't even care what the brand is. I got peanut oil up here. I use, I just use different ones. <clears throat> like in my peanut oil, I use this one. So I don't know. I just, it doesn't matter to me like that. So, but usually I'm using canola oil when I'm frying my chicken pork chops and stuff like that so we're going to use our canola oil honey where y'all going and this i cooks a little fast so i'm gonna turn it on a six first We're gonna add some of our chicken fry. I can't hold you while I'm cooking. What you want? Ugh. Alana is just being really baby baby today. Hey, Nancy. 
hi Teresa. <laughs> hey Georgia. Oh, I saw a question. I'm sorry. What's the difference between canola and vegetable oil? She needs to change her pull-up as well. Um, I like canola. To me, canola oil is lighter. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and I don't know. It's To me, it's a lighter oil. It's not as heavy. Uh, I hope I'm making sense with that. And so what I used to do is I used to use vegetable oil all the time. Hey, Amy. I used to use vegetable oil all the time. And then I just you know, switched over to the canola. Um, and it really came from me just trying different ones. And that's the one that I like the best. So I say, just use the one you like the best. Hey, hey, I see y'all, I see you. I promise you, I'm gonna give you a minute to, so I can talk to you. If you give me just a second, let me get these in the skillet and then we'll have a moment so I can see you. <laughs> y'all know it's hard cooking and trying to read. So this again is my house eye tree. It's really inexpensive. I recommend that you add it to your supply, whatever you like to use. It won't hurt to add something else. And that's the only thing I be trying to get y'all to see. I never tell anybody how to cook in their house. I never tell you, you gotta do it my way. I always encourage you to do it your own way. But honey, if you try it my way, that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be good. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. It's gonna be good. And this you can use on shrimp, chicken, I use it on my everything. Like, it's really good. Not my fish. I use the uh, Louisiana. What I use y'all for the fish? It's on my video. I think, I want to say it's Louisiana that I use. The Louisiana fish fry. Yeah. All right, so all I'm doing is breaking it up so it's, you know, more smooth for us to work with. And once our oil heats up, I'll bring you all over so we can. Yeah, me too. Is it, how many? Hamidia, Hamida, Hamida. I think it's Hamida. <laughs> I agree with you. I like I like canola oil. I don't know. I, I mean, between vegetable canola, what's the other ones, y'all? I like peanut oil. I like to use peanut oil, but I don't use it a lot because you are, you know it has that flavor to it. Um, what's the other oil, y'all? I don't really use shortening or anything like that. Um, I have like made things that called for it, but what'd you say, Aisha, I'm eating the squash. Girl, let me tell you, woo! If y'all have not tried the squash casserole, honey, let me tell you, it is so good, it is so good. I am not trying to pull your leg, like for real. It's really, really good. Even if you don't like squash, give it a try. Give it a try. It won't hurt to give it a try. That's all. Some stuff we don't know, we don't like it until we try it. And we may find out we love it. And then you're going to say, how did I go my all my life, you know, not eating this? Not eating this good, honey. <laughs> yeah, try the canola oil. It definitely helps. I'm just reading. Let me see if I see any questions. So you don't have to season. No. Is it Andrika? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. It went kind of fast. But I did see your question. The house tree is already seasoned. And if you see, it says right there, it says season. And it really is seasoned. Now, I don't know how much flavor you need. <laughs> but this has some packed flavor. If y'all have tried the house tree, let her know. Because to me, it's enough. Like, I don't need anything extra. So if you need extra, I say just try it. You know, and then if you feel like I need more, then at least you'll know because you don't want to load your meat up with seasonings and then put it in that and then cook it because then it's going to be too much or it could be too much. I don't know. It's just better to taste it first to see what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Or what the, the flavor is for you. So once this oil is just about. No, it's not close. It's <laughs> not. It did nothing but sit on top of the oil. Y'all know it ain't had enough. It just sat there. Okay, so we're gonna give it a few more. <laughs> that is lemon pepper. Yeah, and see lemon pepper, you know, it has that flavor. So it's not like you're adding like a salt or, you know, stuff like that or actual all purpose, you know, so 
at least you're just adding the lemon pepper flavor. I can see that. I can see just adding the lemon pepper to give it a flavor in addition to what it already has in there. It tastes like it's like an all-purpose. It's just good. You just got to try it. You got to try it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you pronounced it. Oh, good. I pronounced her name right. Listen. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> The sweet potatoes were good. I'm not a big sweet potato person. That's why you, you know, but they are good. They are good. But I, I've never been a sweet potato person. But my um my kids like them. They like them. So the Greek seasoning I get at you can you should be able to find it in if, any of your grocery stores. You probably don't know because you just haven't looked. But look, just look when you go to your seasoning department. Um, they have it in Publix. They carry it in Kroger. But I'm no longer by Kroger. They have it at Walmart. Um, I don't know. Where else did I used to get this? I don't know if you're by Winn-Dixie. I don't know what your stores are. But just look for it. It looks like that. So it has a distinct little look. So, you know. But give it a try. Give it a try. Don't knock it till you try it. And it's only a couple of dollars. So it's not like... I, I have never heard anybody say they don't like the Greek All-Purpose. Oh, happy birthday, Keisha. My sister's in here. Happy birthday. Um, I haven't heard anybody say they don't like the growl purpose, but if you don't like it, I'm sure I'll take it off your hands. If you don't like it, look, my P.O. box is on my page. Send it to me. I'll use it. Okay. Because we're not going to let it go to waste, honey. I promise you. So I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. The reason why I'm having a longer time with this pot is because, I don't know if you can see it, but... I've never fried anything in this pan. So, of course, I wait till I go live <laughs> to try something different today. So, we're going to see how this roll. Um, so, that's why I'm starting off lower because um, this particular eye, for whatever reason, it cooks it cooks the highest. It's, it cooks the highest. And it's, these are the same size. So, we'll see. We'll see, y'all. Pray my strength in the Lord. I, um, I'm a little tired because I had a long day, but I really wanted to come on live. Y'all know I don't come on live often. Well, I saw a question. I need to go back, honey. I pray that my future wife will be cooking. Oh, okay, Ty. I thought somebody had mentioned something about the group. You know, the pray, praying for your future spouse. I thought I saw that. I'm sure your future wife will do just fine, honey. Because all you got to do is tell her to turn on cooking with Aisha, honey. <laughs> Just tell her to go on YouTube. I'm telling you, she'll be in and out the kitchen in no time. All right, y'all. We're going to start breading our little chopped rib things. I don't know. We just don't call them pork chops. How about that? And I'm using my wet hand with the dry. That's not good, but we're going to roll with it, honey. It'll be just fine. Just fine. All right. I usually deep fry but we just gonna pan fry them today. That should be good. Mm -hmm. It's not hot as I want it to be, but I'm not gonna go much higher than that. So I'll bring y'all over in just a second. I'm gonna let that get just a little hotter. Might sound crazy, but the Greek seasoning is good on popcorn. I can believe that because it's, it's just so good. <laughs> Lenora. Girl, listen, when I buy my house, one of the requirements is going to be that I have to have a gas stove. I don't know if I'm getting it built. I don't know if it's already going to be there, but I have to have a gas stove. Um, I'm learning. I had to learn all over again when I moved in here to use this particular stove because I'm used to the flat tops. If it's electric, I'm not really used to this. So this is a challenge. Um, but it's okay. You know, it, it's better than not having a stove at all. I tell you that. Some people ain't got no stove, honey. So I just do what it do. It sure beats that. I've had a lot of situations that, you know, so I just be grateful. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm going to bring y'all over. Let me get a few of these in here. I need to move this over. 
but my thing is not moving. I hope everything is okay on y'all end. Just let me know because mine are stuck on my end. So I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm not ignoring you. They're just not moving. So I can't see. I can't see ya. Oh, honey, we got a gazillion of these things, don't we? This is one little fam family pack too. We ain't gonna, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I counted that right. Well, that's pretty good for a family of, how many kids I got, y'all? <laughs> for five of us, that's pretty good. <laughs> I wonder why I can't see my comments. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do. Somebody help me. I guess y'all can't help me, can you? Okay. Oh, there it is. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Look at it. Came right on up, honey. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong. It just stopped. <laughs> yes, Walmart does carry this. This is actually usually where I get it. Walmart does have it. Walmart does have it. So I'm going to show you. You know, people ask me all the time. What does the mustard do? What does the mustard do? What does the mustard do? You know, I'm going to just be honest with you. I've been using mustard for so long that I can't really tell you everything that it does. But what I will tell you is this. You can't really taste the mustard, okay? At least I can't. Um, and it adds this, this golden touch to the flavor, I mean the color of my, my, meat, my meat that I'm frying. And it is a flavor, but I can't tell you what, what it is. I mean, I'm assuming it's the mustard, but it doesn't taste like mustard. Does that make sense? Okay, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this. So, these little mom's cook pots are really, really good. Somebody emailed me um, about some good durable pots. So, these are good if you want durable. They're a little... Uh-oh, they're a little costly, but they're worth it. They're worth it. I don't know if those others are ready yet. We're going to give the other ones a few more minutes. There are our potatoes. And like I said, I like to cut them like that so that it doesn't take that long to cook them. Because when you leave them whole or leave them bigger, they can take a little longer. It depends on if you care or not. You know. Some people don't care. They don't care if it takes two hours. It ain't gonna take that long to boil no potatoes, but you know what I'm saying. But um, I know these kids are hungry, honey. Cassandra said, I wish I could mail you a plate. I'm telling you, we need to just have a potluck here in Dothan. All right, let me turn y'all so y'all can see. Uh, okay. I don't know. Maybe you were answering some that I asked earlier. <laughs> do you use, wait, do you ever use buttermilk? Buttermilk or egg to bind the breading. I have used buttermilk. Um, I don't always care how the buttermilk um, gives my chicken a darker flavor, but um, to me it does add, like make it a little more on the darker side. Unless I'm cooking something that does not require, you know, it to cook a long time. But I've like made buttermilk chicken. If I do that, I like to do something thin like this where it doesn't get real dark. I don't know why I don't like my skin to be dark. So, I'm just getting some of these bready, y'all, because they'll be done. So, what I'm going to do, I guess I didn't really tell you all what I was doing, but I did put it at the top. So I'm boiling the potatoes to make mashed potatoes. I am frying the little pork chop things. So I'm gonna sit those to the side once they come out. And then I'm gonna make some gravy. 
and we're going to like have our mashed potatoes and we're going to put the meat on top like sit it there and then like drizzle it with some gravy honey Woo! Mm, i felt that in my spirit did y'all feel that it's like i just saw it and i felt it it's gonna be great and then so the only vegetable i have let's see i got some salad in there and then I have some green beans that I made. So we may finish those off. Oops, I'm making a mess. We may finish those off. And, or, <laughs> and, or, <laughs> I have like this like oriental stir fry. Yeah, I kind of do stuff like that because it has broccoli in it, carrots, mushrooms. I may just cook some of that. So I'll know by the end of this thing what I'm gonna do as far as a vegetable. I just can't tell you right now. But at least we got the bed, you know, the most important things out of the way. Okay? So we're gonna sit this here. Sit that there. And sit that there. Alright, y'all. Let's go turn these things over, honey. Oh, the salmon nuggets. Uh, what kind of salmon did I use for that? Hmm. Girl, I don't know. The cheaper kind. Just keep that in mind. Sometimes I'll um, go to uh, Sam's and I'll get my... Sorry, I'm trying to turn. And... No, honey, I ain't got no new stove. Where you see a new stove, honey? No, ma'am. I'm still on this stove. But that's okay, because in Jesus' name, I'm going to have my stove. All right, they coming right along. They coming right along. Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody asked me, did I beat the chop? No, I didn't. I don't even buy those thick, thick ones. I have before, but I bought them. Um, I don't know if y'all remember when I made the stuffed pork chop. That's what I use mine for. I'm gonna go ahead and fit another pork chop in that oil. I'm gonna have to get my thing to tie my hair back, y'all. Now, who calling me, honey? I don't know why people call like unavailable, like you gonna answer. Cause if you unavailable, I can I can guarantee you that so am I. All right, let's put that in there. I probably shouldn't have put that meat in the pot, so don't down me. Time I overcrowd in the pan. I'm an overcrowder. I am, but it's okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm in Dothan. Somebody asked me where I was. I'm in Dothan. Dothan, Alabama. <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. Thank you. Is it Dreama? That's nice. Dreama Jew. Hey, Shanika. Thank you, Warren. <laughs> I like had my face on. I'm like, yeah. Thank you, Warren. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm not looking at me. I'm trying to read y'all comments. Huh? Two juices. Two juices. Okay, take one to the Y'all, how many of y'all took advantage of that, this, the Capri Sun sale, honey? They had buy one, get one free at Publix, honey. I racked up, okay? But now they about gone, so. All right, I'm gonna have to go get my boo for this hair. So our mashed potatoes are just about done and we'll go ahead and we're gonna whip them together. I'm just gonna do something basic today. I don't think I'm gonna do cheese or anything. I think I'm gonna just keep it salt, pepper, right? Let's just do salt, pepper. What y'all doing? I need my flour. We're gonna need this for, the, uh, for our uh, gravy. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, <laughs> I wish we had a Publix. I love Publix. I go to Publix often. Like, they know me. I go a lot. So, <laughs> thank you, Bertha. Oh, yes, Louis, those waffles. Thank you, Jessica. Alicia, girl, listen, email me when you try that squash casserole. <laughs> Woo! Mm. Listen, I keep talking about it because it really is good. It really, really is good. 
and it don't take much to make it. Y'all saw me just blue, blue, blue. We sauteed the stuff, threw it in the pan, honey, and threw it in the oven and forgot about it until the timer went off. And then we tasted that deliciousness. I'm trying to tell you, it's really, really good. Oh, wow, Wilma. I'm trying to decide, am I gonna go to school or not? You know, I'm not trying to do no restaurant. I would hope that my people at my soup kitchen that I'm gonna open up will be okay with my cooking. <laughs> I hope. The squash Talora, is it Talora, Taloria? I made it, Um, when did I make that, guys? Yesterday? I wanna say I made it yesterday or maybe the day before yesterday. I can't even remember when I made it. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, let me see. Let's check out our, ooh, yes. It looks really good. Now, the only thing about this pot, something got on there. The only thing about this pot is it cooks kind of slower. Frying, frying wise. When I'm making other stuff, like uh, I saute often in this pot. So when I'm sauteing, I have no problem. So, but frying is going a little, I'm gonna show you. Frying, it goes a little, a little longer, but it's okay. They coming along, kind of came off right there, but it's all right. Who said something about the, uh, hold on, I saw a comment. Just, I'm on my second bowl of casserole. It's good. It really is good. Um, your flour can, oh, your flour container reminds me of the Tupperware container. Aw, yeah, honey. I got those from Walmart, too. Nowadays, they want a lot of money for it. Tupperware and that stuff. Like, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it fixed. Like, these things right here. These little containers, now Walmart, what they like, $4, right? Honey, I, I love home goods. Home goods is like my third or fourth home. I love home goods. And those containers are like $12. I was like, no. Unless it's coming in a set of three or four, I'm not doing that. I'm just not. All right, y'all. So we're going to let this continue to cook a little bit more. If I should have had that all the way over. And I'm going to drain these potatoes because we can definitely go ahead and, and mash these up and whip these up. So I'm going to turn that off. I actually got me a potato masher. I don't know if I'm going to really all that use it, but we'll use it. We'll use it, we'll use it. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't lost their mind with them Tupperware dishes. the potatoes and then we're gonna whip those up <laughs> Kimberly yeah that, that Tupperware better hold up <laughs> for the my the amount of money it be costing Oh, yes, honey. Ooh. 
I hate that I had to make them a little darker to get them crispy, but it's okay. They look really good. <laughs> Let's see. So they're a little darker, but it's okay, honey. It's okay. All right, so here's the potatoes. So I'm gonna let you all look into the pan here. We're gonna add our deliciousness to the pot. Trying to get y'all in the pot. All right, there we go. Y'all, these tripods are everything, okay? Let me get my masher. Can y'all see? You may have to move your comments. So I'm gonna add a little butter. Because we know butter makes it better. Butter is amazing. And it serves its wonderful purpose here on earth. It's just such a wonderful thing. It's a gift. Butter is a gift. And when you look at it like that, you can really enjoy it. I saw a question. Let me see. Okay. I know it's not really all that dark, but you know, it's dark to me. It's darker than what I normally would do. Let me pull that rod or Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. Make sure y'all can see. I'm going to start putting these pork chops on here. What's wrong? Popcorn. She about to eat. She'll be all right. Hang in there, Lana. What? Yeah. Hang in there, girl. I want y'all to be able to see these. I don't know. I'm trying to hold this thing, y'all. Okay. So y'all can see. I'm sorry. So I'm putting them over there. So they can just drain while we finish cooking the rest of them. So y'all can see those. Yes, Mr. Tyler, what do you need? I was trying to turn you around. My children have begun. They foolery. As you can see. What's wrong? Aaliyah, tell them the name of the game. Tell them what it is. Back to the master tape. Okay, y'all. I don't have no sour cream, but it's okay. It's all right. I add a little milk. We got our butter in there. I may add a little more butter. I want a little garlic too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I believe a show is in the works. We'll see. We'll see what the Lord say. We'll see what the Lord say. I'm trying to get down to the bottom of my comments. <laughs> yeah, they hungry. That's why they starting to fight and carry on. All right, y'all. Y'all know how them last pork chops be. They be frying extra quick for some reason. I don't know what's that about. Not everybody want to speed up at the end. I don't like burnt food, y'all. I wonder if I ever burn some on live. I probably have. Okay, let me get my masher. I'm gonna mash these. Can y'all see? <laughs> Can y'all excuse me? I need to put my hair up. This is not working. Okay, that's a little 
better. <laughs> I, I do have some cream cheese, but it's like, you know, cold. So, but did y'all see? Let me show y'all the things before we. Did y'all see the thingy, my bobbers? So they're just sitting there. I guess y'all did, huh? Yeah, kids always be doing something. But it's all right. They start school on Tuesday. So I'm excited. Okay. My other tripod broke. And please tell me why I haven't invested in another one. I don't even know why. I'm sitting here struggling on live with this little janky tripod. <laughs> Fix it, Jesus. Fix it. I don't even know why I'm struggling. <laughs> To struggle. I don't even know why I did that to myself. Oh, honey. That grease be so disrespectful. Huh? <laughs> All right, y'all. So I have mush, mush, mush. So, and they are dry, dry, dry. <laughs> so we're going to add some, um, we're going to add a little milk. I don't need mine to be mushy, super mushy, but I can't do the dry potato. Cannot. I cannot and will not do the dry potato. I need a, I can use this one. I can use my whisk. I'm add a little bit of my garlic. I love garlic. Y'all know I love garlic. And if you don't like the garlic, you can leave it out, honey. All right. Turn this. Trying not to knock the tripod over. So we know they're soft enough because they come right out. That's what you want. Now, unless you want them harder, of course. But I'm gonna let y'all come over in the pot. We're gonna add a little bit more of our um and put y'all in there. Get in there, honey. Get in there. I'm in Dothan. Dothan, Alabama. That's where I'm at. Alright. What am I adding to my mashed potatoes? I'm gonna add some of my all purpose, my garlic herb, black pepper, and sea salt. And I am going to add a little more of my salt. So, just salt. I'm going to add a little bit more of my milk. Let me flip these things before they get too crispy. Y'all will talk about me the rest of the month. Ooh, Aisha. She burned some pork chops on live, honey. Y'all said she can cook. Mm-mm. I know y'all gonna talk about me. All right. I'm gonna add some of my seasoning again. It's this one. I get these at Walmart. Like I said, all my seasons I buy be like $2, $3. I don't, I don't play that. I don't play the radio. Ain't nobody got time. Because they good, they're flavorful, and they do the job. Okay? Now... I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to need some more butter, honey. That ain't going to do it for me. I have to have more butter in my... I'm going to turn off the chop. You're done. And I'll take those out in just a minute. I love to cook, honey. I really do. I've been cooking since I was nine years old. And, um... I don't know. I cooked all through, you know, school, high school, and then I went off to college. Then nobody really wanted, um, like, date me. That I was a wife material, so I just used to post up and cook. I used to post up and cook. Now, don't get it twisted. I did go out and kick it sometimes, but for the most part, people didn't really want to. They're like, you white, you wifey. I'm like, okay, don't nobody want to date me, though. So, it's all good. 
All right, y'all, we're going to let that butter melt in there, honey. I'm going to taste it. And that's all I need in my mashed potatoes for this one. Sometimes I do cheese. I usually do add sour cream, but I don't have any. We did a taco salad and um, tacos early this week. That's what we did for Taco Tuesday. Woo! Don't do it to me. So that's what we did this week, and that's why we don't have no sour cream. The kids ate all the sour cream. All right, y'all. I got to pour this oil out so I can use this. I want to use this filler for my... Stir, stir, stir. So that was pretty easy. This is three large potatoes. If you, um, you know, the potatoes that you get at Sam's, they're really big, the jumbo ones. I used three of those, and that was enough for all of us. That's more than enough potatoes for us, and it's five of us. So if you like a lot of potatoes, you may want to do a little more. But this was good enough for, for me. I'm going to taste it. <laughs> Y'all don't be laughing at me when I taste my food, honey. But I got to see. Ooh, what is that on there? I got to see. Um, I'm going to turn y'all back to me. What'd I say? No. I meant sour cream, Marvin. What'd I say? Was I saying cream cheese? I mean sour cream. That's what I was going to add in my potatoes. These pots, Keisha, I got from... um. Sam's, Sam's, Sam's Club. They're called Mom's Cook. Woo! Hallelujah! <laughs> Woo! These are good, honey. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes! Okay. So now all we gotta do is make our gravy. Um, what I put in the oil. You said, what? What well, Chef Ramsey love it, honey? Chef Ramsey would love anything that I cook. Okay, don't be trying to get me. Don't be trying to get me all talked about. I see you on the slide trying to slide a joke in there. I see that. All right, let me put this up. What am I doing, y'all? Gravy. We need gravy. Okay, should I do brown gravy or chicken gravy? Ooh, honey, listen. And my three-year-old, I mean, my two-year-old, she two, she almost three. But she be like, mm-mm-mm, honey. These are good. Who else drink these? These are really good. All right. Brown gravy or chicken gravy? Chicken gravy? I saw chicken first. I'm gonna do that little simple gravy that we just did on that video. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So, if you don't know how to make gravy, this is it don't get no easier than this. I promise you, it does not get any easier. So, I'm gonna turn my pot on. We're gonna boil like we're boiling some water. But I'm gonna boil this chicken broth. Yeah, they trying to get me talked about. You know, he talk about everybody. I ain't, I ain't stuck you. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not going to make a whole lot. So, and this is good to start with. And the reason being is because we still got to add our flour in. So, we're going to bring this to a boil first. I got to see if I have. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, I have my chicken. Ugh, excuse me. I do have it. I do. I do. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get my packet. I'm going to use one of my packets. All right, and I got the flour out. So I'm going to show. 
tell you what I'm doing. We gotta bring this to a boil first. So we gotta give it a second. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, y'all want it brown? I'm sorry. Well, the great news. I have great news for you if you want the brown gravy. I did a gravy video and I used the brown one. And it's a, the video that I posted was how to make gravy um, like the easiest way ever. So that was the whole purpose of the video. Now, there are many ways to make gravy. Okay, but my whole thing is I like to make things easy for people because a lot of people who don't know how to cook follow me. Then you have people who do know how to cook follow me. Then you got people trying to tell me how to cook, you know, and the list goes on and on. But I do focus on trying to help people with the basics. So that's why my recipes are very simple and easy. They say that same thing. Yeah, I know. So that's why I focus on that. So we're going to bring this broth to a boil. Okay. Um, I'm going to add in a little bit of my flour. This is where it gets tricky because I always say start with a couple of tablespoons of flour because at least if you don't have enough or it's not thick enough, you could always thin it out. And you could always thicken it up too. You just don't want to make a big mess, okay? That's the whole point. Don't make a mess. So let's do... I'm gonna do three because I just know I'm probably gonna need. So I'm gonna do three. I actually used a fork. <laughs> but either way it go, three forks of flour. I'm gonna put this over here just in case. What is that? All right. And I'm gonna add in, this is a packet of my McCormick chicken gravy. They make these packets to use them. So use it, honey. <laughs> it just has a little chicken flavor in it and some cornstarch probably, you know, who knows. You can read the back and see what it say, but it has some flavor to it. Ooh, honey, that chicken broth is just, let me add a little bit more of that. Y'all yeah, slow the roll down, okay. Now I'm gonna add a whole packet of this. I don't know why it's taking so long to come out. Chow. Chow. That's me. How did you do that? All right. So we got our chicken gravy packet. Now, if you want to add in any seasonings, which you're definitely going to need some salt, I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to need some salt. Or you can let your people add in their salt. But you want to put at least a little bit because I'm telling you, when you taste it, you're going to, you know, it's going to have a flavor, but you want it to have at least a little salt in it. And I'm going to add a little bit of my Greek, and that's all I'm going to add in mine. So you don't really need much because we already got our chicken broth. You already got the flavored packet of the chicken, and then now you're adding that in. We're not trying to overdo it, you know. So I'm just stirring it together, and then I'm going to add some of this in. Now, you can use water. You can use whatever you want to. I'm using this because... I already got some of that in there. So we already got that going on. And I just add just enough so I can just make it blend in. You don't need a lot. You just don't want it to be a paste. You just want it to thin out so you can add it to your pot. And I'm going to bring you over so you can see what this does once you put it in there. Give me just a second. Now, <laughs> I know you all have seen me make gravy like three or four different ways, <laughs> but this is the easiest one. All right, let me bring y'all over. <laughs> Where did you buy the who? The steaks? What you say? Hold on, let me see. Where did you buy? Oh, the Greek seasoning. I get it at Walmart. You sound real nice. Okay. And I'm trying to put y'all where y'all can see. Okay, y'all. So once your um, your water or your broth comes to a boil like this, go ahead and stir it in. I'm trying not to let it hit the bottom of the pot. I'm going to have 
to get my own. Um, and you just keep stirring it. And see, you see how thick, it's already thickening up. So this is thicker than I need it to be. And I'm gonna turn it down some as well. I'm gonna have to add a little color to mine. Mine can't be this bright. But I'm gonna let it kinda turn down a little bit first. Let me put y'all back over here. What somebody say? <laughs> know why people gotta? Oh, child, listen. To all my followers, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't worry about rude people, okay? So you don't worry about them. Now, when I start having a fit and panicking, that's when I need y'all to panic, okay? Let them people do their job. All right. So this is it's just too high. I don't know why it takes so long to simmer down. I hate this eye, this front one. All right, so it's gonna calm down in just a second. Oh, and you can, are you talking about your fried pork chops or your baked pork chops? Which one? With my pork chops, I'll be so dry. What can I do differently other than stop cooking them? I try bacon fried and just. Okay, you can ask me any questions that you have by sending them to my email. Or just write me to my email. Because what happens is, especially like when I get off lives or when I post videos, it's hard for me to go back and just read all of the comments. Hmm? Can I get a book? You can get one glove. She loves to play with my cooking gloves. <laughs> I know, Penny. I know. I know y'all love me. But see, what y'all got to understand is that that stuff really doesn't bother me. So, like, if it really bother me, then that's when I need people to, like, say something. But this, I mean, <laughs> I'm cooking. So, of course, people are going to have something to say. They talk about everybody. People talk about everybody. Who cares? I don't really care. As long as I'm good... That's all that matters. So, now, let me show you the thickness of this gravy. Okay. So, this may be, I think I showed you all the trick with the spoon. So, I have to get the spoon to actually show you, huh? Okay. My thing is this, honey. Nah, I ain't even gonna tell you what my thing is because it doesn't even matter. I pray for everybody being negative in Jesus' name. I pray that God will bless you and not curse you. Now, let's do this. I'm trying to show y'all my little trick. So usually just to see kind of the thickness of my gravy, I get me a spoon and just see how it falls off of her. That gravy's not bad. I can, I can brown it somehow, but that's the chicken gravy, right? Now let me taste it. Okay, y'all should see this little thing I'm using for the phone. Mmm, all right now, all right now, that's good, that's good to go. I'm gonna make a plate. I'm about to make a plate, plate, plate. All right, y'all. Let me see, I'm gonna make a small plate always ask me how do I stay thin well for one I really don't eat a whole lot I cook a lot because that's what I love to do but just because I cook a lot doesn't mean I eat a lot so you just have to have that discipline so no matter what I make I eat it but I just don't eat a whole lot of it praise God praise God they ain't gonna stop what God doing that's for sure bloop leave a message all right now I'm gonna make me a little plate and we gonna have a taste, okay? <laughs> All right, honey. So this is the vision I had that I would put these mashed potatoes on this plate just like this. Cause before I cook, I just, I could see in my mind how I wanted to look, you know what I'm saying? So I, I envisioned these mashed potatoes will be just like that. And let's see. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to put my piece of meat just like that. Let me rinse off my little spoon. 
I'm gonna get some of this chicken gravy. It is just so light skin. I don't like light skin gravy. Y'all like light skin gravy? It's good though. It's good. It's light skin, but it's good. And I'm just gonna pour that on there just like that. And that's the way I wanted it to look. Alright, I need a fork. I need a fork. Let me turn this around. God is good to me, honey. He's so good. Alright. Now I'm trying to get this thing to work. So y'all can see too. Honey, because we about to eat that, honey. And if you just got people who just funny acting. people coming over bloop just sprinkle a little bit of that on it <laughs> make it look pretty for them yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me what y'all think yes jesus loves me for the bible tells me so Yeah, I'm about to tear it up. I'm about to tear it up, honey. I can get that out the way, honey. So here's our, uh-oh, can y'all see? Our meat, everything's nice and done. Get me some mashed potatoes on there like that. Mmm. good y'all it is so good it's the combination the combination of the mashed potato with that gravy and the little piece of pork thing whatever it is mm. and then got that crunch it's that crunch with it too y'all my god my god my god my god my god Thank you, Lord. This is why you can't worry about the haters, baby. Woo! Because it's so good to me. Mm. God is good to me. So all I have is love to give. <laughs> so I'm about to feed these kids. If you have any questions, I'll give y'all just a minute while I'm eating. Ask me. I know, I know, I know. I didn't get to talk to you as much, but please forgive me. Email me, please, and talk to me. I have people email me, we talk, we email back and forth. So let me know, seriously, if you have any questions or comments or you wanna be mean to me, come on in my email, let's talk face to face. Let's find out what your real issue is. We can find out. I may be able to help you with that. And I ain't even going to tell nobody about our conversation. So, y'all be blessed. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, Cynthia, for sure. We're going to go follow their cooking page tomorrow. <laughs> it is good. It's good. It really is. Get this stuff here. Make sure. Grab you some of this. Grab you some of this. What else I told y'all about? These are the main two. These are two things I do want you to go out and grab. Both of these should be less than $5 together. So, and they'll last you. You know, you'll be glad you made that very, very small investment. So as always, I always thank you all for your time because it's something you can't get back. I appreciate y'all. I really, really do. And with all my heart, I mean this. Please, y'all, don't worry about those who got something to say. 
I promise you, God got me, and I'm not worried about it. I enjoy what I do. I'm going to continue to do what I do. And God still loves me and loves you. <laughs> so y'all be blessed and have an amazing night. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs>